I see Nettleton as a district that is committed to providing any kind of service or any kind of different program that would help students in any way that we possibly can. If you look at the research, they've had therapy dogs for quite some time. It's just recently that, that there's a lot of schools that have started promoting this as well. Being an innovative school as we are, we felt that University Heights Medical Arts School would be a school that would really benefit if we could adopt a, a therapy dog. Abby is one of a kind. It makes a huge difference. When stress levels with the kids, stress levels with the teachers is sometimes just, you can't help it, it's just there. When we see Abby, when we see her walking in, it's immediately, you can see the effect, you can see the kids' attitudes changing, the adults' attitudes changing. So I'm Bryce Holmes. I uh, am the pet therapy guy, or the, the, the guy on the other end of Abby's leash. I think they, I think my official title is Abby's dad. We get to encourage kids by trying to make their day better with interaction with Abby. Um, by letting the kids love on her, just encourage her is, is an encouragement to them. There's something about Abby uh, that allows kids to be comfortable enough to, to put their struggles on her. Especially with special education, whatever it takes is sometimes a lot. We had a student who got a little bit off routine and routine is a big deal in our classroom. With Abby being there, it was really helpful because she was able to come out and immediately he just melted down a little bit and started petting her. Before Abby came, um, a situation like that could have taken anywhere between 20 minutes to an hour. Now we're able to accomplish things in less than 10 minutes. We were doing a lesson and it was kind of it was kind of stressful, kind of hard. She walked in the room, immediately the kids reacted and waited for their chance to get to pet her. When she comes in, it's like, oh, let's let Abby come in and I want her to sit by me or I want her to work at my table. Whether it's reading, writing, she sits and she is attentive. Our kids read to her. She does things that a human being can't do for our kids. They want to come to school. They want to be here. And it's very rewarding to see kids who um, are struggling and, and, and they just can't seem to get it. And then with a little bit of encouragement from Abby and maybe a different perspective from me than the teacher, um, when that moment clicks, that aha moment that you hear teachers talk about, um, it is worth everything. She's become a true writer. But she's just been very accepted by everybody. You never really know what you're going to get to do and what you're going to get to accomplish. And you kind of see school in the way that you went to school. And so it really is amazing the things that we're able to accomplish. No one else has that around here. Just a neat thing to be able to say. I teach at Nettleton where we have these things in place for our kids so that we can better their education. That's big. That changes. That changes the whole climate of your building and what you're all about.